Spencer and I am here with the 6th grade teacher, Ms. Tahoe. Okay. And today we're going to be doing an interview. So, let's do, why did you choose teaching as a career? Uh, probably because of my 2nd grade teacher. I fell in love with her. She was magical. My parents were divorcing and she made me feel safe and made me love reading. And I always sort of wanted to have that same impact on someone else. Um, so, if you weren't, could not be a teacher, what else would you do? Hmm. Growing up, my parents told me I should be a lawyer because I'm good at arguing. Still pretty good at that. Um, although I'm really into murder mysteries, that's what I love to read. So, I would probably try to be like an FBI agent or a homicide detective. Way different, right? <laughs> yeah. Why did you choose social studies to teach? Well, I actually didn't teach oh. or choose social studies. Um, I planned on teaching elementary, and I really was thinking first grade because the whole reading thing. But I taught summer school here, and the principal at the time asked me if I wanted a job, and I and I did, and so I took it and I taught English and math, and I liked being in the middle school atmosphere so much that I stayed. And the next year, I, well, the first year I taught English and social studies. Second year I taught English and math. And the third year, the social studies came open full time all day. And I really love the sixth grade curriculum, the ancient stuff. And now I'm here. I don't know if I ever want to, ever want to leave. So how do you make your class fun for your students? I think part of what makes my class fun is that I'm enthusiastic about my subject. I enjoy it, and I think that comes through. I also share my goofiness with them. I have all my weird ways of remembering words, and you probably remember that, Abby, from yeah. like um, in the Fertile Crescent, how do you remember the names of the rivers? It's because you're standing in front of the Tigris, and you're afraid. So I always come up with, with weird ways to remember things, and I think that helps make it fun. How do you feel about the uniforms here? Love them. I, I know that that is not a popular answer with the students, but I worked here before the uniforms came in, and I'll tell you, I love the lack of boobs and butts. Prior to uniforms, that's all it was. The girls' shirts were falling down, and the boys' pants were falling off, and um, I, I like them. I do. How do you feel about this new bell schedule? Because it's like totally weird. It is weird. Sixth grade eats lunch at 10.07 a.m., which is a little bit more like brunch. Um, in fact, my prep is in fifth period, so I tend to eat a snack at lunchtime and eat my lunch during my prep. It's weird. I think, though, it's probably a really good thing for the lunchtime, because, for the kids and the teachers at lunch, because of only having one grade at a time. And then... Let's say you have one person that will always ask to go to the bathroom and like they either forget their passes or like they need to, like they lose them, what would you do at that point? Well, I tend to stop that before it happens because I am a stickler on having your planner and I even make it harder than that because I give you three bathroom passes to last you for the whole quarter. And if you lose them or if you use them all, then you don't get to go. Um, so if I had someone who was abusing it and they used all three passes and they needed to go, they wouldn't be allowed. Uh, unless it's an emergency and I don't want to be peeing in my class. But um, I, I, I tend to stop it before it happens. And I think that that works well. Now, if it was, if it wasn't that way, if I wasn't one of those teachers, my suggestion would be to see what the problem is. Why are they trying to get out of your class? Okay.